Hi, you're welcome to Christian Talks channel. On this channel, I'll be your host where I bring you content that will edify you, that will bless you, that will inspire you, and that will cause a stir and a turnaround in your life. My name is David. I will be bringing some of my friends to have some conversations on this channel as it regards to faith, family, finance, and a lot of other things. But for a start, I'd like to talk about uh, something that has happened recently in the body of Christ in Nigeria uh by pastor rather bishop david oedipo uh, that is very very amazing and i believe that the world should hear the world should see and the world should know uh because when things like this happen you never see it on the media it's amazing it's amazing that when benevolent acts like these are carried out of course we shouldn't from scripture let our right hand know what our left hand is doing when it's going to do what it's supposed to do However, the society we live in now is a society that is contending for our fate. And if we don't contend earnestly for it, we might have a generation that will come up later and realize that there was nothing that the future, that a former generation, you know, had laid or left for them. But let me not waste your time so that I let you know what basically Bishop David Oedipo did that um, is amazing. So Bishop David Oedipo is the of course presiding bishop over living faith church worldwide and bishop david Oedipo first of all is not necessarily from the north his ministry took off of course from Kaduna state but is not necessarily restricted or based in the north but recently the north has been plagued the north of nigeria uh, the middle belt precisely in nigeria has been plagued by attacks incessant attacks by herdsmen you know, full herdsmen who go about marauding and destroying people's farmlands and then lives and properties. And it's painful. I will probably put up images of some of the localities and communities that these marauders have attacked. But what is appalling and what is amazing is how that Bishop David Edepo had sent relief materials to these communities. And I'm not talking about relief materials in just hundreds of thousands. Relief materials that is running in millions. So leadership, um, leadership news had had a publication by one of her writers, and I will strict, I will just go to it, read it out for you, and show you what Bishop David Redipo did. Okay, it says um, Bishop David Redipo, I mean, presents twenty million naira relief materials. What of relief materials to Mango? IDPs in Plateau State. Mango is a local government that was attacked recently by these headsmen and hundreds of lives and thousands have been displaced because of this very evil act. Now, Bishop David Oedipo had sent 20 million naira worth of properties. I'll probably put up pictures as well so you see exactly what this man has done. But the most amazing thing is how that this is one of the most criticized person in the body of christ one of the most criticized church leader and people criticize him for having private jets criticize him for you know having massive buildings come on guys can't you actually see the impact that he actually even has on society aside church this is society we're talking about these people that were displaced were both christians muslims traditional worshippers atheists probably but this singular man had sent his pastor to deliver that very uh, relief material to that idp or to these idps and i believe that this is something that is amazing remember i started saying he's not from not but somebody all the way from the west of nigeria can do this it just tells you that there is actually beauty in the unity of the body of christ so I'll run straight to the comment section of um, this post that, uh, you know, carried the news that Bishop David Oedipo had um, sent relief materials to read out what some people, you know, has ha- have had to say. So, um, Joy Ochang Billy, the first comment actually said, Daddy Freeze can never see this news. And of course, you know, the reactions that will follow after that bombarding each other on the comment section but that's not my business may god bless you man of god that's what kilo divine says oh lord bless lord oh lord bless daddy and of course 
Panara News, Gislova, and Daddy Freeze will never see this news. More Grace Papa, that's from Samuel Lemuel. And um, Grace Egu says, More Grace Daddy. But let me know what you think about this very act in this very YouTube video. Drop your comment. What do you think? Do you think that Bishop David Oedipo is actually what some of his critics say he is? Or do you think from this video and other things you actually know he has done? both within the church and without the church what do you think what's your perspective of bishop david Oedipo? what what do you have to say basically about his ministry his person i for one i would tell you that this is one man that has that has broken barriers that has set you know the pace for the faith in nigeria literally and um, i have nothing to criticize on such people I, I i i prefer to criticize con constructively you know because what we what i just did now is constructive criticism to an extent well i like to say here that if you like this video please like this video really by, by liking the thumbs you know the thumb button and then subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell so that whenever i I also that whenever I put out a new content, you would get to see exactly what I'm putting out. You'll be the first to know about it. And engage this video. I mean, share it with your friends, share it with your family. The truth is the church in Nigeria is facing a lot of attacks. And this channel is not one to say that we're going to be the one that will be the frontier. There are a lot of other channels and Christian and faith-based media organizations that are doing their best to see that kingdom is propagated. We are one of those voices, or this is one of such voices. And I do hope that with your subscription to this channel and your support, we can actually change the narrative. We can actually bring a game change to the whole dynamics and narratives that are flying and is flying all around, you know, on social media and all of that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it has blessed you and inspired you to reach out, to reach out to somebody around you who is in need. You know, even if he's not around you, even if they're not around you, even if they are somewhere far away from you. But I mean, we are called to, I mean, minister life. We are called to minister hope to society. That is what kingdom is about.